Mommy, don't put more makeup on me, please. My face feels sore and I'm covered in pimples. I don't care, Nelly. You have to obey me. Ivan can find out I have a daughter with... Besides, you're getting pimples. It's because you're growing, not because of makeup. You have no idea how much I wish you didn't remind me of your stupid father. He ruined my life and my happiness in the process. But mommy, my daddy really loves me. It's not my fault. Why don't you love me? Nelly, stop saying stupid things. Ivan will be here any minute. You better not get out of your room. Yes, mommy. I'm all ready. Let me go grab my purse, okay? Uh, no. The thing is, she feels sick and doesn't want to see anyone. Hey, it's not, it's not what you think. Let me explain it to you, okay? But, 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 but why? Ivan, you can do this to me. You love me. What you provoke? I told you not to get out of your room. I'm sorry, mommy. I really needed to use the bathroom. You just ruined my life, Nelly. Oh, please, God. Grant me the wish to finally get my mommy's love. Please. Hey, and when am I going to meet your daughter? Uh, uh, soon. The thing is, she's very jealous of me, and she doesn't like to be around the men I date. <laughs> I see. I love you a lot, and I would love to meet her. Besides, I always wanted to be a dad. Uh, give me time, okay? I'll talk to her. Yes, it's fine. Can I see a picture of her in the meantime? Just to see her. I'm looking for it. The thing is, I changed my phone and uh, I lost a lot of pictures. <sighs> She's beautiful, just like you. Huh. Hey, maybe we should take her to the movies, or maybe even the park. There is no rush to meet her. Only give me a little bit more time, okay? Yeah, it's fine. I get it. I'm not rushing on that. Because with this I might. Huh? Just funny. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I have to do something so Gustavo doesn't meet Nelly. Suani, my love. Come, 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 come. Come. 
Now you don't have excuses to come out. Wait here until I tell you, okay? Yes, mommy. Jasani, my love. Hi, baby. Why are you here? Is that for me? Uh, no, this is for Nelly. Call her so she can open it. Uh, no, the thing is, she's sick. What? Let's get her to the doctor. No, no, no. It's not necessary. She just have a little fever. Are you sure? Let's go give it to her then. Maybe the gift can cheer her up. Uh, um, no, it's just that, that um, when she's asleep and she gets cranky when you wake her up. Just funny. Do you want me to meet your daughter? Uh, of course I do. Why would you say that? It just seems like you don't. You keep making excuses to stop me from it. Uh, it's just that you're a complete stranger to her. Well, that's why I want to meet her. So I stop being that. And she can feel safe. You know, now we get married. I don't want her to feel excluded. Uh, I'll talk to her and try to convince her, okay? But I don't promise anything. <sighs> Thank you, honey. I feel hot. Suck it up for a while, Nelly, okay? Okay. But I'm hot. Hello! Hi, baby! You look so handsome! You too, honey! You look amazing! Hello, Nelly! Nice to meet you! My name is Gustavo. Hello! Are you okay? Why are you wearing your jacket? Um, um, yes! Uh, the thing is... Uh, she has been having some chills and she feels cold, right, sweetheart? Yes, mommy! But if you want, I can take you to the doctor. No, no, thank you! Or we can do something else so you can feel better. She'll be better in a moment, don't worry. But she can't be alone. Time in the sun. Oh, well, I organized a picnic. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I love it. Oh, good, because guess what? My mom brought you one specially from Sweden. Delicious. Well, let's go. You'll see that you'll feel a lot better. Thank you, honey. You're so kind. <laughs> I've never had so much fun in my life. Am I a part of your family now? Yes, I really like you, Goose. <laughs> um, no, no. Um, what if we go somewhere else? But only you and me. You've already met Nelly, so... But Nelly's having a great time. She even forgot she was feeling sick, right? I want to be playing with Goose again, yes? All right. But only for a while. That, you're right. Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? No, 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 no. Leave her. Don't touch her. Why, her face is all covered in... Don't, don't... Her skin is really sensitive. Mommy, I'm very hot. Can I take off my sweater? You can't, Nelly! Uh, stop it, Jaswani! Why did you treat her like that? Mm, it's just... She says I look a lot like my father. Shut up, Nelly! And what's wrong with that? Uh, no, no, wait. I can explain it to you. Jaswani... Why do you put makeup on her so she looks whiter? She's your daughter, Joswani. She is. But she's a black daughter. Because of her, all of my brothers have left me. Because she doesn't look like me. They left you for being an idiot, Joswani. And he's beautiful and super smart. How can you be ashamed of her? What? You don't care about her skin color? Of course I don't, Joswani. I told you before how bad I wanted to be a father. Unbelievable that you're ashamed of your own daughter. It's not my fault that she was born with that color. And of course I'm ashamed of having a daughter like that. But don't worry. Because when we get married, I'll send her to live with her grandma. I deserve to be happy. No, don't be mistaken, Josuani. You and I are not getting married. Planning to make a bow with such a monster. No, Gustavo. You can do this to me. Of course I can. I'll take Nelly to a child center so she gets protected. Enough with your humiliations. Mommy, I didn't want to be born with this color. Forgive me. No, 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 Princess. You're not supposed to say you're sorry. People that love you will accept you how you are. Don't be ashamed of your skin color. You're beautiful. Thank you, Goose. Can you take me to my grandma? Of course I can. No, no, no! 
If you take her, I will report you. Josuani, it's unbelievable what you've done to Nelly. Enough with your humiliations. She deserves a better life. I hope one day you can understand that. Let's go. Come on, you'll be fine.